Hey, it's Josh here from Loudwire's Gear Factor. We're here with heavy metal legendary guitarist Vivian Campbell. Vivian, how are you? I'm well, Josh. Got a bit of a snuffle today, but otherwise fine. Thank yeah. you. No, it's great. So, uh, you know, we're here on Gear Factor. We, we love talking to folks about, especially legends like yourself, about, you know, that first riff you heard when you were a little kid that so you saw someone playing guitar and said, I want to be on that stage. I want to do what they're doing. <laughs> Yeah, it was Mark Bowl. Bowling and just the hair and the image and it was, you know, he really was in, in my eyes the, the the grandfather of the glam rock movement, right. you know. And I was thinking, this is cool. I have an older sister. I thought I can go upstairs and wear my sister's clothes and and get a guitar and grow my hair. So uh, I did grow my hair. I eventually did get a guitar. I Fortunately for the world, I did not fit into my sister's clothes, so <laughs> <laughs> I was spared that. We were all spared that embarrassment, but uh, that was what really did it for me. That was my light bulb moment. I was probably about nine years old. Um, I was on a show called Top of the Pops on BBC, and um, from that moment on, I just wanted to be a guitar player. Now, you first, you know, I think came onto a lot of people's radars, you know, in the, in the Dio band, and so many... Yeah. Uh, classic riffs um, that you wrote. Is there any one riff in particular that you're most sort of most proudest of? Um, God, there, there was a lot of great songs. I mean, it was a lot of fun to write with the Dio band. I mean, we used to go in. Uh, Jimmy being the bass player, Vinny yeah. Apsey drummer, and myself, we'd we'd go in a lot and just, you know, Jimmy'd have a riff, or I'd have a riff, or Vinny just play a beat, and we'd find we'd play on top of it and find something. You know, we, we'd kind of organically grow songs that way, and Ronnie would come in, and, and he'd have books of lyrics, and we'd play them what we had, and, um, you know, Ronnie would be looking, he'd be listening back to the, to the idea, and I'd go through, and he'd find something, and you'd see, and then he'd step up to the mic, and he'd, he'd just press, he'd sing it. It all just happened so quickly. Um, but back then, I, I remember when we did the second album, the Last in Line album, yep. Uh, when we had that song written, that was kind of like the centerpiece of the album. That was the title track of the record, and, and it was a great relief to us because, like, oh, we've got this. Now we can build up. You know, we just need a couple more songs. And I think it was the day after that that Ronnie went ahead and booked the studio. I remember being in my my parents' kitchen back in Ireland uh, before we went to LA to start writing. And <laughs> intro and so I played that and I was like, oh that's really nice and that was so typical of, of Dio and that genre of that music that you'd have right. a nice little melodic setup Before and you know and then the, you know the, it's the gonna go gonna fall up there. but we didn't come up with that part till we were in LA at a rehearsal room I went <laughs> and Ronnie's going yeah we got that So we came up with that, and then Jimmy Ben, we just, Ronnie said, we need somewhere to go for a verse, and Jimmy came up with this. So we had the verse part, that, that kind of tied us in, and you know, the songs kind of grew that way, and, uh, but like I said, there was always a centerpiece song to, to every Dio album, that, that kind of was one of these moments, okay, we got that, we're good, we can book the studio time, everything else will fall into place, and it always did. Yeah. And now to a whole other generation of fans and players, you know, you, you are now known as, you know, uh, for, for your work in Def Leppard. Yep. Um, uh, as the guy, as the guitarist with the shirt. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, what are, you know, obviously uh, the great, you know, the, and late, you know, Steve Clark was a fantastic guitarist. Uh, what, what, of, what of those songs do you personally love uh, playing each night? Is there any riffs that, in particular that stand out for you as a favorite Def you Leppard know, riff such... to play? Such good, I love playing Gods of War, and we were oh, yeah. playing it just last year uh, in Europe, in Japan, Australia, and whatnot, because we were doing the Hysteria album in sequence. So we got to play that. I mean, there's so many great, great guitar parts. Steve was, nine times out of ten, I, I, I think, was, was the guy who came up with some of the really, really cool yeah. guitar riffs. Um, you know, like Gods of War. <laughs> He was 
very influenced by Jimmy Page. You know, it's oh, yeah. a real Page. He liked to have open strings resonating, sort of. You know, um, and he even photograph as a, a Clarky thing. Yeah. You know, there's always. It's not just a one string riff, um, and then the actual part itself. <laughs> Almost got it. <laughs> um, you know, he's just, he came up with all these great little parts and, and, and they were just such a great team. Uh, and, and Leopard still is, but, but you know, Steve, I, I do feel that, that he was just such uh, uh, an exceptional bits writer. I mean, if he wasn't a yeah. songwriter, like he's not the kind of guy, I guess, to, who went home and, and wrote a whole song. Guys, I got this song and here's the lyric and here's the melody, you know, but he came up with some amazing guitar riffs and, and even his solos you know like I I play all the Clarky solos and uh, they may appear simplistic a lot of them but they're so important to the song they're so integral you know like a oops it's good a month off will do for you. Uh, <laughs> so you know, it's just it's a s simple, but it's a melodic thing, it, and but it's vital to the song. Absolutely, Such a, it, you can't Absolutely. take it out of the song. And and so I've, I've you know, when I first joined Leopard when I, on the Adrenalize tour in '92, you know, I said, okay, I'm going to play the solo here. It's eight bars, whatever it is, sixteen bars. And I didn't always start off playing Clarky solos, and I very quickly realized that man. It's, this is wrong. It just doesn't sound yeah, right. You know? it, yeah. It's 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 in the it's in the DNA. It's part of the song. You got to play it. So, so I, I've, I've very much come to embrace it. You know? That's incredible. Well, thank you so much for taking the time, guys. Yeah, uh, Vivian Campbell, Last in Line album uh, out soon. Check it yeah. out. Um, and uh, and obviously uh, definitely check out his brand new uh, signature guitar here on Epiphone. And uh, we really thank you for your time. Thank you very much. My All pleasure. Right. Cheers.